Hey, this is CJ Catlover here, aka TOS Cat. And I've got a game for you of Kill Confirmed on Erosion with the Model 1887. This is actually, I'm redoing the commentary because last time the game the game audio was too loud and you couldn't actually hear me talking. I just didn't really feel like it was a very good commentary. But to this game, I was just playing with a friend and we, uh, before the game started, we always check the people's lobby leaderboards, you know, check their stats, and saw these guys weren't too good. So we just, actually, I think they're split screeners. But we decided these guys weren't too good, so we're like, hey, let's both use shotguns this game. And I, I as you, some of you may know, I use shotguns a lot, hence I shotgun montages. So I felt like using the model, because I really haven't used it in a while. It's, I pretty much only use this class in drop zone. In fact, the only reason I have specialist on it was because since it was an only drop zone class, I was like, well, gotta put something on. Might as well just use specialist. So, I wasn't really trying to get a MOAB at all this game. I was just trying to have fun. Like, I see a lot of people, especially ones who are going for MOABs, that when they play the game, they really don't have fun. And that's the whole point of a game is to have fun. So, if you aren't having fun, you're really failing at the game. Like, <laughs> even if you're winning. Like, a lot of people, they go for more, no matter, like, they die on, on say, a spe whenever they get specialist, or you know, any time they die, they just rage. So really not, the game's about having fun. Some people do use cheap tactics, I understand that. I get mad too, but uh, don't, don't blame the game. <laughs> um, right here, I was actually... I got my, I told my friend, I was like, I have all special signs. I was like, are you going for a MOAB? And I was like, nah, I'm not going to get a MOAB. This, this is really my second MOAB, not counting infected. I actually had today, I got a private match of MOAB playing against a friend, but that doesn't really count. <laughs> private match. We were just messing around, what was it, double health, KHD 12, silenced holographic. <laughs> he was kind of embarrassed, he rage quit when I got it. But, uh, oh, right there, I got really lucky, that guy. The enemies, after being killed for a while, switched to, uh, switched to, um, one of them switched to models. So I'm gonna save my life there. If he had had, like, a submachine gun, I probably would have died, but... These guys actually weren't as bad as I thought they were afterwards, too. Like, we played them again, we still beat them, but they weren't, they weren't actually that bad. So I don't know if I had a really good host advantage on them, which is possible. Oh, I got really lucky right here again, too. I guess there was a grenade right by me. But And then even at this point, we get to 20 tags, and he's like, should I stop picking up tags? Are you going to get the MOAB? I was like, I'm not going to get a MOAB, but might as well see how high of a kill streak you can get. I mean, there's still six minutes left. Might as well. So, <laughs> if you uh, talk about the strategy for this map, if you haven't noticed, I'm sticking a lot to this left side of the map. There's a lot more cover on this side of the map, so it's a lot better for shotguns. And I find this area right here, not just so much up there by the tree, but in that general area right there, that seems to be where most of the action is. That there, I like get the tower base, and then at that building right there. Um, a lot of people actually like to sit in those buildings in the back, and there's so many corners in there, it's hard to tell where they're at. That's actually why... This is actually just a recon class, because I liked having recon on it. But I recommend for this map running recon and stun grenades, because all it takes is to lob a stun grenade into that building, and you have the locations of everyone in there. That's actually really useful. Um, this is... I used to like a ground a lot more than Erosion when it first came out, but now, every time you play a ground, it's pretty much... I mean, we always try not to spawn trap but too much, but... Whenever you get against halfway decent players, all they do the whole time is go for the spawn trap, and it's really kind of boring, because when you're... The reason I don't go for the spawn trap is because when you're spawn trapped in that little cave back there, I mean, really the best way to go is just to sit in the cave and wait for them. And that's what a lot of people do, which just makes it really slow pace. In fact, just today, actually, we're playing a game against these guys on Erosion. And we started out the first game losing, and we had a really... kind <laughs> came back, and beat them by quite a bit. Oh, right here was actually the first time I realized, I was like, yeah, I might actually get a MOAB, so I start playing a little defensively, get the hit marker, and, oh, hey, MOAB. 
call it in right away because no sense in waiting for something to happen, you know? I mean, I would, wouldn't that suck if you decided to not call it in until it ends and then the host dashboards? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love host dashboarding. I, dashboarding is the thing. I understand dashboarding. Like, a lot of times I'll dashboard if I join the game late and I find the enemy team is already. It's already got set up. Oh, there's my first death. Sad face. I find the team has already got set up and all this while, and there's nothing I can do. I know I'm gonna lose. And it's just like, well, this isn't fair. It's not my fault. I just joined. So I'll dashboard then. Or sometimes. If the connection is so bad, I feel it's completely unfair, like, you know what I'm talking about, the times when you shoot the guys with, like, half your clip, and then all of a sudden, and then they die. Those games, sometimes will dashboard then, but when you're host, there's really no reason to dashboard. Because you obviously didn't just join if you're host, and your connection can't be that bad. So, I just feel like it's really a lot of sore losers when people do that, but... It, it's just a game. Try to remember that. <laughs> Try to have fun. After after I got this, actually, I was like, you know what, I think I'm done with this for a while because, you know, the point of a game is to have fun. Once you get kind of up there with, I don't know, things like this, getting my first shotgun Moab, getting it in... Oh, aw, sad face. Another hit marker. I, die. It, I was pretty happy, to say the least. And I was like, well, I know if I play another game and I do bad, I'm just going to get off. And, I mean, it's important to do that. Take a break every once in a while. And then when I came back again, I was having a lot of fun with the game. Have a nice day.